so social currency is the idea that what we talk about influences how people see us. So just like the clothes we wear and the cars we drive, the things we say influence whether people think we're cool and interesting or dumb and boring, whether we're smart and in the know or not really someone they'd like to talk to. Um, and so if you think about it, you know, if we say a lot about new restaurants or we always think to, seem to know about the hottest new movies or new technology, people might think we're a foodie or we're really into the movie industry. Uh, if we talk a lot about, you know, pets, people think we have a lot of knowledge in that domain. So what we say influences how people see us. It's a kind of currency. Just like money can buy us things, the clothes we wear, or the things we say are kind of currency. They influence whether or not people want to be around us, whether or not they want to invite us to parties, and whether or not we're going to get invited back to that second date. For something to be remarkable, it means that it's worthy of remark. Whether it's surprising or interesting or novel, you know, think about the last piece of information you passed on or the last story you told someone. It probably wasn't just about what you had for breakfast or what you did on a given day. You probably passed along something that was worthy of remark, something that was surprising or different that happened about a particular day or a story that they wouldn't have guessed the ending to. And so things are remarkable because they violate our expectations in some way. They're so novel or interesting that people just have to talk about them. So you might think that you know, certain products are naturally remarkable and others just aren't, right? So think about you know, new Hollywood movies or Apple's newest high-tech gadget. Those things are so novel and surprising and exciting. You know, a Batman movie comes out or there's a new James Bond film. That's just so cool already that people have to remark about it. And so you might think, well, products like that are just, they're in the luck, they're, they're lucky, good for them. But things like, you know, household appliances are just sort of stuck, right? Who's going to talk about a refrigerator? How could you make a blender remarkable? Think about, you know, toilet paper. Toilet paper doesn't seem very exciting, but I actually recently saw black toilet paper. Had never seen colored toilet paper in my entire life. The first time you see toilet paper that's something other than white, you have to talk about it. It's so surprising and remarkable that it's really worth passing on. Um, and so think about any product, whether it's toilet paper or household appliances, you can make anything remarkable if you think about the underlying reasons that people talk and share. Status is a great thing, but it's not very exciting if no one else knows about it, right? So imagine I invited you to a special club, and I told you, here, you're part of this special club, but you can't tell anyone else about it. It'd feel pretty good, but it wouldn't feel that great. And so really, status and social currency is better if other people can see it. Foursquare, uh, the, the location-based social networking site, does a great job of this, right? They give people badges, like you're the mayor of a local bar, or you know, you're a jet setter if you travel a lot. And these badges are not only things that people have for themselves, but they put them up on their Facebook pages and other ways to show others that they have this status. What does it mean to be a mayor of, of the local bar? Well, it means you hang out at the bar a lot. Not particularly exciting, but because there's a badge, because they figured out a way to give that thing social currency and allow people to show it to others, people are proud of that information and want to pass it on.